What's up, Yeti Whisperer? How's everybody doing? It's going, Jim. Bob of Stars. Dan. Christopher. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm trying a different microphone. What's up, Tyler? You guys can hear me okay, good. Cool. Hopefully that will be better. We shall see. What is new? We'll just kind of chit chat here while people hop on. Machek. Okay, Machek. We will keep that in mind. Machek. All right. Anybody doing any fishing? Got a lot more guys on here first thing, which is good. All frozen. Yep. We got a little warm weather and some strong winds, so things have thawed out a little bit, but I have not made it out. What's up, Ronald? How you doing? JB, Christopher, Tyler, how you guys doing? Gregory just got rescued by Ohio River today. Whoa, glad to be alive. Man, that sounds rough. Nurse sharks and snappers. Oh, Jan, he's out there. He's out on the ocean, man. He's, uh, he's in Puerto Rico, so he gets some cool fishing. Todd, how's it going, Austin? Have I ever fished in Washington State? No, I have not. Yeah, Gregory, man, that's crazy. We might have to hear more details on that. <clears throat> Where to order my dark sleepers? Um, probably Tackle Warehouse. I... Uh, I buy a lot of my stuff at Tackle Warehouse, to tell you the truth. Best colors, um, it really depends. You know, uh, depending upon the water I'm fishing, they have some really nice kind of subtle shad colors, and then they have some darker, darker, co more colorful colors, like what I would call more of a bluegill color. <laughs> 
a lot of their colors are um, they've got Japanese names and I can't really remember the names. And if I do remember the names, I don't know what they mean. Roll Tide, Ronald. Gregor, yes, it was pretty scary. Only in the water for about 10 minutes. Wow. Did you get dumped out of your boat or did you, I mean, or did you slide off into the, off of the bank or I mean, what, what was going on there? Tyler, what are you talking about? Kentucky. Kentucky's got great fishing. If that's what you're talking about. Rhode Island's supposed to get some cold weather soon. Man, I would think Ro Rhode Island would, <laughs> would be frozen up. At the mouth of the Ohio R River where the creek hits the main river was on a walleye bite. Lost my footing down a three-foot bank. Was able to get onto a tree root. Wow. That's crazy. I was uh, fly fishing in the Provo River one time, and uh, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong current uh, at spots, and uh, I got out in that current and almost got swept away. That was a little hairy, but it didn't happen. So, yeah, glad you're all right, Gregory, for sure. That's some crazy stuff right there. Oh, Bubba Stars has picked up some dark sleepers. Hee <laughs> hee. You should enjoy that. Chiefs. Looks like Packers, too. The Packers won today. I watched some of that game. Rams did not give them much of a fight. Fell through the ice in my creek last week. That's not good, especially if you don't have someone with you. <laughs> Browns. We shall see tomorrow. Where's my Chiefs at? I've been wearing my Chiefs hat. I better go get it. I don't have a Browns hat. I'm a Chiefs fan. Bills. Well, we already beat the Bills once, so maybe we can do it twice. We'll see. We shall see. All right. We... Uh, Yeah, that's pretty good, cool six cents hat, isn't it? Yeah, I like it too. I think this might be one of those where I bought the, uh, I had they had that deal, buy one, get one free. This might have been one of those. I don't remember. Just watched the latest video with the big TRD and the dark sleeper. Yeah, right on. I'm going to be asking some questions about that video tonight. So that's a good one to have watched today for sure. Oh, Yeti Whisper got my package. Good. Jan, I sent you that message on your address being messed up. I saw your response, but I haven't reposted it. So as far as I know, that's the only one that hasn't gotten out to everybody. Everybody else should have gotten theirs by now. I guess if you still haven't gotten your prize pack, whatever you've won, send me a message. Right on. I broke the thousand subs mark this week. So that's awesome. Just got to keep going. Keep going. Thanks, Warrior Fishing. Hey, Mr. Bass, do you, how do you, the lure giveaways exactly work? How do the lure giveaways work? Okay, let me show you. Uh, I've got these buckets that have baits in them, three buckets. I got terminal tackle, soft plastics, and hard baits. 
And then I've got this wheel right here. Turn the camera down. I got this wheel. Turn my light on. And <laughs> this is how it works. I ask you a question, usually about something on one of my videos or something about the Mr. Bass channel. And whoever's the first one to answer the question in the uh, live chat wins. And then I spin for them. If you land on a win, uh, on a number one, you get one prize. Two, you get two prizes. If you land on the Mr. Bass sticker, that's the jackpot. You get three prizes. If you land on an X, and we had two Xs last week, you get nothing. You strike out, but you can try again. One of the guys who struck out last week tried again, and he actually won. Uh, if it lands on the angel, then you get a prize, and you can pick anybody in the live chat to get a prize as well. And if it lands on KVD, the greatest fisherman of all time, you get your name in a drawing for a much bigger prize, but nobody's done that yet. So uh, I was thinking we'd have more by now land on KVD, but it has not happened. So that's pretty crazy. Mr. Bass, what do I think about Excite Baits? I think they're pretty decent, especially like their crank baits. Uh, the one thing I think Excite Baits are the uh, one the co the one company that makes uh, soft plastic baits that float. They don't put any salt or anything in their baits that would make them sink, and they uh, all their baits float, and that makes them unique because a lot of baits do not float. Uh, I think that's right. Somebody could correct me if I got that wrong. Excite Baits, but. I think they float. So, for example, Cinco's don't float. They sink. Uh, all of the major copycat brands of Cinco's sink. But the Excite brand does not sink. It floats. And sometimes the floating technique, the floating worm, really works well. Do I have any lose reels, Ty? Ty Riley, I know who you are. Uh I do have some lose reels. In fact, I just ordered the new KVD lose skipping reel. And uh, it's not here yet, but I was very intrigued by that reel. And when it gets here, I will show it to you. Lose makes some pretty good stuff, really. My very first bait caster ever was a lose reel. Uh, one thing that I think lose does really well is they make some pretty lower end entry-level reels that are really, really good for the money. Uh, let's see here. If I get the chance at the angel spot, Gregory is my pick tonight. Oh, that's a good choice. Do I like Livingston Lures, lures with the EBS chip? I don't know. I've got a few. I fished with them a few. I've never really noticed that the chip helps. They look like decent lures, though. I just don't know if the chip does anything. Uh, so I don't have enough success with it to say, yes, I recommend it. Gregory ordered six of the dark sleepers last week. Man, those uh, Mega Bass guys ought to be paying me for all, all you guys buying dark sleepers. South Lake Fisherman. How's it going, man? I don't know if you're new or not. I don't, re I don't recognize that name. Welcome. Let's see here. Have I used the Berkeley Max Scent General? I have not specifically used the General, but I've used uh, Berkeley Max Scent baits. I think the General, though, without fishing it, I can tell you that it's probably very good. I'm sure it's a great Cinco bait. Old, uh, What's his name? John Cox fishes with that bait, and he's won lots and lots of money with that general. So I would say, yes, it works. Good bait caster for a beginner. Well, like I was saying, a lot of those lose bait casters are not a bad choice for beginners. Um, 
Bass Pro Shops make some pretty decent beginner uh, bait cast reels. Even the companies like Shimano and Daiwa make some fairly decent ones. The SLP. Yeah, that's a... I've heard that that's a pretty decent reel. The Abu Garcia Silver Max. Abu Garcia makes some good wheels, reels too. I went through an Abu period where I was buying a bunch of the Premiers and the Winches and some of those I've still got. I don't have any of the Premiers or Winches anymore, but I do still have some of the uh, Rocket. Uh, what do they call the Rocket? Do they just call it the Rocket? The Revo Rocket? I think that's what they call it. Those are good flipping reels because they're so high speed. So I do have several of those. Christopher, I bought that one at the end of the last season. It's a really good reel. Simon says he loves the general. So there's there's a a real world example for you. Yeah, that lose orange speed spiel, spool warrior fishing looks interesting. It does. I don't have one of those though. I have not tried any of the Guggen rods. Yes, I've seen them. I've not tried any of them. I don't really plan on buying any of them. Greg Whitaker, love the matte look on the Max scent. Yeah. Uh, maybe very good. Let's see. Began with the Black Max, easy way to learn. Yeah. Shimano Corrado K. Okay. Heck yeah, that's a beaut That's a great reel. I wouldn't call that an entry level reel though. It depends, you know, entry level's different for everybody. Some guys say $200 is an entry level reel, and some guys say $40. Um, but the Corrado K is a great reel. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I got a little cough tonight. So, what do I think of Guggen in general? Uh, I think I've been doing some, uh, videos like on the Guggen uh, boxes, like the Mondo kits and stuff. And I've given away some Guggen lures and their lures look really decent. They look pretty good. Uh, I don't know anything about their rods and reels though, but their, their, uh, their baits, their lures look good. And there's a lot of people who fish them, probably the most famous, Pro fisherman that fishes them um, is uh, Scott Martin. He's got a deal with the Guggen somehow. They're, he's a sponsor with them, and he pushes them a lot in his videos. If you go watch his videos, he's always talking about Guggen baits. Top-notch fishing, strictly a Daiwa guy. I do ha like Daiwa reels as well. I like their spinning reels and their bait casters but I still lean more towards Shimano, but I do have quite a few Daiwas. Tyler will not do Guggen. Well, you're not the only one. Good evening, Edward from Indiana. How's it going, man? Yeah, the loose speed spool is a very good reel. And, you know, I, I would not, I would say that's a great, First, first reel. If you're ever looking for a very first bait caster, speed spool is is definitely a great choice. The Abu Garcia Pro Max is one of the best for seventy to eighty bucks. So there you go, Ty. Check that out. The Abu Garcia Pro Max. Jacob Wheeler, right? You're right, Dad Bob. What up, Timothy? How you doing, man? Jonathan Friedman. I like some of the Guggen lures, but think six cents look cooler. Yeah, I agree. One of the problems I got with Guggen is it looks like they've copied some of the six cents lures. That kind of bugs me. I don't have proof, obviously, but it sure looks like they have. What are my top winner lures? Well, I did a video on one of them this morning. I, I still think the Ned Rig's great in the wintertime. I also like uh, 
crankbaits like the Rapala shad wraps. I like uh, jerk baits for sure. Definitely wintertime jerk baits. And then uh, underspins. Underspins are great wintertime lures as well. Brandon, what about the lose reels? Uh, well, somebody asked about what's a good entry level reel, and we were talking about lose reels in general. I think lose reels are great. I've had quite a few of them over the years. And I just ordered the lose new KVD skipping reel. So when it comes in, I will show it to you. Timothy likes Guggen. Guggen, Guggen, Guggen. I've un unsubbed some from YouTube because that's all they said the whole video. Oh, no. Maybe he doesn't like Guggen. Ty, yeah, South Lake, I have the Black Max, and out of all my reels, it is one of my faves because it's cheap, and I don't worry about it getting beat up. I do put my reels in reel covers and stuff, but, man, they're tools. They're fishing tools, man. They're going to get beat up. I just live with it. Mario, hello, man. How you doing? Happy you're on. Buy once, cry once. Right on, Yeti Whisperer. Any boxes to open tonight? No, I do not have any boxes, but I have a couple of things that I have bought that I thought I'd show you guys because I'm getting ready for a tournament. And I'm going to show you some things that I bought for the tournament and talk a little bit about uh, one of the baits I'm going to use in the tournament, the rattle trap or the lipless crankbait. Lipless crankbaits work in the wintertime. Uh, I don't throw them much in the wintertime, but they do. But I'm going to be fishing a tournament down in uh, Sam Rayburn in Texas. If you don't know where Lake Sam Rayburn is. And uh, going to throw some rattle traps down there, I bet. Yeah, the depth's 250 in the ice slides. I am definitely going to do some videos with those, Dad Bod. Uh, so I will let you know when I've got them up. When are we getting into the giveaways? Pretty quick, pretty quick. New loose skipping reel. I seen you. It, uh, yeah, it only holds 40 yards of line. You're right. At first, I thought, man, 40 yards of line. But. Uh, you just got to know that and you got to be prepared. Uh, you're just, if you're just skipping under docks and under tree overhangs and you could flip and pitch with it as well. 40 yards is probably enough. Tyler, I like the quake 80, the red craw booyah one knocker. I might have one of those. We shall check it out. <coughs> All right. We got some quite a few on here let's uh let's go ahead some guys want uh want to do a little bit of uh giving away giving away so let's go we'll go ahead and start so we had a good week i'm feeling generous this week the uh the right team won in college football roll tide so i'm feeling good about that uh, the chief should win tomorrow. So I'm feeling good about that. Best bigger glide baits under 30 bucks. Probably the, uh, S waiver, I'd say South Lake fisherman. And, uh, let's see what else was I going to say here? Oh, and I had a thousand subscribers this week. So that's all good news. So maybe we'll give away a few more prizes. It depends on how many jackpots we hit, whether I can afford it or not. Oh, one thing I'm going to talk about and show you before we do any giveaways, because Sea Big Hill is not on here. That is too bad. But this is recorded, and hopefully he'll watch it later. Timothy, LSU fan, go Tigers. I love all the SEC teams, man, but Bama is my team. 
So I was pretty mad last year when you guys beat us and then went on. I wasn't sad you won the national championship, but I was sad you beat us. Bagley, killer beat cranks are sweet cranks. Thanks, Edward. Appreciate it. You guys helped me get there. I appreciate that. Um, Gators. Gators, man. You guys had a good year, but you had a bad ending. Old Dan Mullen, man. He's a head scratcher sometimes. There's C. Big Hill, 75. Great. He's here. All right. I want to let you guys know that this guy, C. Big Hill, 75 is an awesome dude. And let me show you just one proof of that. Check this out. He sent this in the mail today, or sent this in the mail to me this week. Push this back a little bit. Oh, get some of this junk out of the way. Look at all this stuff he sent me in the mail. Look at all that. Holy cow. A quantum smoke reel. 13 fishing invader. Couple of war eagle spinner baits. Here's one. Thought there was more than one in there. Uh, Berkeley crankbaits. The Berkeley pit balls. A Sabil deep diving crankbait. A Rick Clun square bill. A rattle trap. I could use that. Here's the other spinner bait. Ocho's boy ducket jerk bait, a booyah rattle trap, hard knocker, a wiggle wart, a popping perch, tungsten scatter wrap, lucky craft square bill. Bomber square bill. <coughs> Havoc baits, Havoc baits, Havoc baits, Havoc baits. Cinco's. Strike King river bug. Fat baby finesse worm. Thunder cricket. Holy cow. Yum dinger 30 pack. <clears throat> 30 and some hooks how about that crazy crazy and the reason you guys should be happy about this is i told him i'm gonna put most of this stuff in the bait buckets and we're gonna give it away what size is the smoke reel this is one of the kvd's you know, KVD less, left Quantum, so you can't get these anymore. They still make the, the Quantum smokes, but uh, they don't make the KVD smokes anymore because he moved over to lose. So this is the 7 3 to 1 gear ratio, and I'm going to make this one of the bigger giveaways. It'll either be maybe the KVD giveaway, or maybe it'll be some other big giveaway later. But this sucker was like $179 back in the day. And even right now, if you go on eBay and try to buy it, it's still like 150 bucks, 149 bucks. So that's a great prize somebody could win. All thanks to Sea Big Hill. How about that? Plus all these other great lures. So shout out, shout out to Sea Big Hill, man. What a dude. Helping the listeners, helping the Mr. Bass channel. Pretty sweet. So who knows? Some of you might win some of that today. We'll definitely do more giveaways today since he sent us some lures.
ultimate box. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Sean, you're right. It's seriously amazing. That is one generous dude. You didn't have to do it. So, pretty amazing. <laughs> what a guy. You're right. 30 pack of dingers last you all year. You need to fish more than that, Brandon. If it'll last you 30 dingers will last you all year. No, you're saying last you years. One thing about young dingers is they are very uh, much tougher than say the Yamamoto Cinco. They're sturdy bait. Dad bod, do I ever fish OSP cranks? No, I have not. Sorry, man. You're right. Sportsmanship. <laughs> How many people are sending C Big Hill their address right now? Yeah, dude. Pretty generous guy for, for sure. You are right, South Lake Fisherman, Z-Man, those TRD, those Z-Man uh, plastic uh, lure, uh, baits, man, they are durable. They last and last and last and last. John Gill, my favorite square bill and color. Well, probably my favorite square bill at the moment is a uh, Lucky Craft uh CB uh, two uh, that you can't you can't really buy it anymore. The color though, I don't have a favorite color because it depends on where I'm fishing, and then depending upon where I'm fishing is the color I throw. So I probably don't have a favorite color. One that I throw a lot though is a uh, chartreuse blueback, just because I have a lot of dirtier water here, and that chartreuse with the blue back or chartreuse with the black back shows up pretty well yeah the bad thing about uh the giveaway tonight sea big hill is you could win your own stuff that wouldn't be very good we'll have to if you win something we'll have to try yeah the v44 wart leo you are right dude but it's not a, a square bill <laughs> uh remember the first live had like 20 viewers and now we're over 50 60 you're right man we're growing we're growing it's good stuff all right so i got all the sea big hills baits thrown in the buckets now let's throw out our first question um first question of the day We'll make this an easy one. This week, who was the most awesome team that won the college national championship? Man, I'm throwing softballs. John Gill, you're the winner. Alabama, roll tide. Roll tide, man. You are correct. Bama. Bama won. I know you guys that aren't Bama fans get really tired of Bama winning. I get it. I hate it when Clemson wins. All right. I'm going to try to dial in here, John, so you can see what you land on. Iowa Hawkeyes. They had a pretty good team this year, didn't they? Can I, can I tell us about Tanya? Oh, nice. Yes, I can tell you about my kayak. I will do that after, after we spin to win here. So let's give it a go. All right. You landed on a one. So... Which bucket, which prize you want a hard bait, soft bait, or the miscellaneous bucket? Whew. 
Jan and the drum roll. Nice. Nice. All right, John wants hard baits. And before I do this, I'm going to get my paper out here so I can start writing this stuff down so I don't miss anybody. John Gill. Hard baits. That's this one back here. All right. I'll grab one on the top, which is one of Sea Big Hill's baits. The Berkeley Pitbull 7.5. That is a great, great lure. Nice. Congratulations, John. And thank you, Sea Big Hill. Pitbull. Okay, my kayak. Let's talk about that first, and then we'll uh, we'll do another prize. All right, um, I've had three kayaks, three fishing kayaks. Um, years ago, I started out with a Jackson Kusa. And this was before pedal drives were invented. And uh, I was looking for a stable boat. I was looking for one that I could uh, stand in and fish. And there weren't a ton of boats back then. Um, and the reason I decided to buy it is, I, is Drew Gregory convinced me watching his videos. And I can still remember a video where he's standing on the Kusa and he jumped up and did a 360 in the air and then landed back on it without tipping it over. And I thought, well, that looks pretty stable. So I, uh, I bought the Kusa and I did not like trying to fish and paddle. Boy, that was such a pain. Now, there's some guys who love it. Some guys really love paddling and fishing together. But, man, I, I, I do not like it. Um, and I didn't like uh, the fact that the wind just blew you all over the place. So I got me a drift sock to try to slow myself down. And I still never was real happy with that boat. I liked the boat a lot. I just didn't like fishing out of it. Uh, so I sold it. And then a few years later, when the pedal drive started coming out, I bought a native Titan Propel, a 13 and a half footer, big boat, super stable. And the pedal drive on that thing is awesome. It's a great, great, uh, great pedal drive. If you're looking for a pedal drive kayak, I think native, native watercraft makes some great pedal drives. Uh, so why did I get rid of it? I got rid of it because I really wanted a Hobie. I've always wanted a Hobie. And, uh, when that 360 Mirage drive came out, I just thought, man, I got to have that. Uh, that's the only reason, uh, the only, the only other reason was that the native best measuring board. I like the uh, catch board, the plastic catch board now. I've got the metal one and it's too, it's too heavy. Uh, but the, the, the plastic catch board, I like a lot. Um, I've had a hog trough as well. Uh, but the hog trough breaks easy. It's floppy. Um, so anyway, I got rid of the, uh, native propel because I wanted the Hobie and, and that big 13 and a half inch boat is hard to steer. At least it was for me. I upgraded the steering cables on it and it still was hard to steer. Uh, so I bought the Hobie. It's a 14 footer and it just is incredible. Uh, a lot, a lot of my videos, if you watch a lot of my videos when I'm fishing out of that kayak, I usually will say something like this boat is awesome. This boat is incredible. This boat is amazing. And I'm being truthful. I am not saying it for any other reason than the fact that it just overwhelms me every time I get on the water, how great that boat is. It is fantastic. And, uh, I love the 360. You can literally go 360 degrees in a circle 
Uh, the, the drive works great in the wind, so you can really control the wind and you're stable in the wind. You can stand up and fish with it really well. It has a great system for attachments. They call it the H-rail system. How about the Fritz side? Yeah, the Fritz side's a great, great lure, Dad Bod, for sure. Brandon, I am not sponsored by Hobie. I wish I were. Jeez, I would love, I would love because I just love that product so much. There's nothing better than being sponsored by a product, a company that you absolutely love their products. And, uh, Boy, that that Hobie Pro Angler is hard to beat. <laughs> There's a lot of people who can afford a Hobie, Mr. Funk. They are expensive, though. They're crazy priced. I wish they were cheaper, but that Mirage Drive alone is just, that's like eight dollars $900 just for the Mirage Drive is crazy. The pricing is crazy, but once you get it, golly. You'd never have to buy another boat. You'd last you a lifetime. And it's uh, just a great, great boat. Super, super stable. All right, let's do another giveaway. I'm sure somebody wants to win something here. You get what you pay for. That's right, Jonathan. Okay, where are my questions? I shouldn't have skipped so far back here because I'm I can't do this all night. I gotta I'm debating now between a nice cat kayak and a beginner boat. Well, I've had beginner boats. In fact, I bought a boat. Uh, my nephew uh wanted a little fishing boat and I bought for him. I didn't pay for it, but I picked it out, is what I'm saying. Uh, it's called a sunfish or a, what's that thing called? A sun, sun something. It's a little plastic boat, but you can put a motor on the back of it. You can also put a trolling motor on it. Uh, that boat is amazing. It is a great little fishing boat, really. The sun dolphin, that's it. South Lake Fisherman, you're right. The sun dolphin. It is a great little boat, and it's about $1,000. Where do I like to fish in Missouri? Um, anywhere I can find. I Actually, I absolutely love pond fishing, to tell you the truth, but I fish quite a few lakes. Um, I fish all the lakes around here. Um, Lake of the Ozarks, Table Rock, uh, um, Palm de Terre, Stockton, uh, Smithville Lake up here by Kansas City, uh, pretty much anywhere I can find, uh, up in Maryville, Mazingo Lake. There's a bunch of reservoirs. There's a bunch of conservation lakes that are smaller lakes that are really good fishing too. Too clumsy and fat for yaks. Well, they've got, my yak has like a 500 pound limit to tell you the truth. It's very, very stable. And a lot of those bigger boats like the Titan, Propel 13.5, super stable for really big guys too. Gregory, 32 pre-wrap warts. Oh my goodness. Those things are freaking awesome. That's what most of these are. I don't know if you can see them. Those are all pre-wrap warts. Those are pre-wrap warts. And then I got a pre-wrap wart collection. They're great lures, man. They are great lures. Joe, yes, your name does show up. Just ask me a question. And I'll talk to you, buddy. Brad's Wigglers. Greg, is that what you're talking about? Gregory. If you're talking about Brad's Wigglers, yes, I know about them. I have fished with them, and they're supposed to be awesome. Only fish I caught in Kansas was on a wiggle wart. Well, of course, wiggle warts work great. Are DC reels worth the money? Uh, it depends on what you mean by worth. 
Uh, and they definitely work. They definitely help with backlashes. But if you're really good operating a reel, I don't think you need digital brakes to tell you the truth. But they do work. They definitely work. And you're right, Tyler, that helps a lot in the wind. But if you know what you're doing, you can fish any bait caster in the wind. Tanya, no, I am not ice fishing. The, the ice here, it doesn't get hard enough to fish on usually. In fact, a lot of the ice melted this week. So, and that's kind of the way we go. We'll get an inch or two, maybe three inches on the, of ice. And then it melts down and it's pretty unstable. All right. I got my questions here. All right. Uh, Okay, in quite a few of my videos, <clears throat> I fish with my dog. So I'm going to ask a couple of dog questions today. The first dog question is going to be hard, unless you're a dog person. Uh, the next two dog questions should be fairly easy. So first dog question, a little tough. He's my little white dog. What breed do you think he is? I don't know if I've ever officially said it in the videos, but you've seen him. What breed? He's not a Shih Tzu. He's not a poodle, but he is a part poodle. So he's a poodle something or a something poodle. So Jim, you're on the right track. He's not a pure pu poodle. He's, a, he's one of these mixed breeds. Not a poodle Shih Tzu. Not a Schnauzer, Lab, York. No. This one might be too hard. Terrier, Lab, Yorkie Poo. Nope, getting close. Lab Doodle, Miniature Poodle. Nope. Yorkie Poo, Teacup, Labradoodle. Oh, Labradoodle is a Labrador with a poodle. See, he'd be way bigger than that. Poodle Terrier. Poodle Yorkie. Nope, he's not a Yorkie mix. Golden Poo. Oh, Dad Bod. You got it. Dad bod is the winner. Everybody see dad bod's answer? He's a multi poo, which is a mix between a Maltese and a poodle. Maltese and a poodle. So Maltese have that big tail he's got. That's why he has a big tail. Poodles don't have big tails. And he's got big floppy poo. He's got big floppy Maltese ears but he does not shed. That's why, that's why we got him. We didn't want a dog that shed all over the place. And Maltese Poodle does not shed. And he's a good fishing dog for sure. So dad bod, you get to spin to win. Congratulations. I'm going to be asking two more dog questions. Here we go. You ready? Shih Tzu doesn't shed either. Oh, good to know. A one. Wow. I did not rig this wheel to land on ones, by the way, or to land on X's. It's perfectly, it's never been altered. Okay, Dad Bod, let me put you down on the sheet here. What bucket? What bucket you uh, want me to choose from? <clears throat> Congrats, Dad Bod. That's right. He wants a hard bait. Okay. Here we go. Hard baits. Still quite a few in there. All right, the Super K Jigs Walkabout Topwater. <laughs> this is three and a half inches long and weighs a third of an ounce. Looks kind of like a flashy perch color. Doesn't tell you what color it is. Super K Jigs. This came out of a Monster Bass box, I believe. Uh... You know, one thing I like about this type of a lure, um, I fish 
uh, a bait very close to this. And it looks a lot like this and close to it in size. It's a little smaller than this, but not much. And it's, uh, what's that thing called? Dang, I can't believe it slipped my mind. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it to you in a minute. But this kind of little top water can be great, especially for schooling fish, busting on shad and things like that. So might be a good bait. I've never fished with a Super K jigs walkabout, so I don't really know. One thing, too, uh, whenever you win on the Mr. Bass channel, you also, when I send you your lure, I also give you a free Mr. Bass sticker. These are pretty good heavy duty stickers. I paid quite a bit of money for these. So you get one of these, too, Dad Bod. Okay, nice. Christopher Shoe. Sorry, I have that. It's on my baits that don't work wall. <laughs> uh, Christopher, you have a wall of baits that don't work. Holy cow, man. I don't even bother to save my baits that don't work. That's funny. You're right, Brandon. Brandon's a great fisherman, man. He says, got to show pick of the sticker on your vehicle. I do have it on my truck. I need to show that sometimes. We got some good sticks on here, old Brandon. I know he's a tournament fishing guy. He knows, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, everybody hit the like button on the video. That helps me a lot. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. John, uh... Whoever suggested that. Was that you, John? Yeah. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and do another dog question while we're on the dog here. So this one is an easy one. What is my multi poo dog? What is his name? Henry got it. You're first, Henry. Snowball. No, he's not named Snowball. He's named Andy. When we first bought him, we bought two exactly like they were brothers. And uh, one was named, we named, uh, I love the Andy Griffith show. It's an old school show. If you're not, if you're under the age of 40, you probably don't even know about that show. But Andy Griffith is a great show. I love it. And so we named the dogs after the two main characters, Andy and Barney. But Barney was a problem from day one. Barney was a problem. He didn't like uh, us giving any attention to Andy. And Andy was just a good old nice dog. So I, uh, Actually, Gregory, uh, that's going to be the next question, so hang tight. So uh, Andy's <clears throat> brother, Barney, we had to get rid of him because he just uh, made life miserable. Uh, he was a good dog by himself, but with Andy, it didn't work out well. So we found a great family with three kids that took Barney, and they absolutely love him. So that's why his name is Andy. So I already forgot who won that. Uh, see, you get me sidetracked. Henry won. Okay. Good job, Henry. All right, Henry, what type of lure, what bucket you want me to, you want me to hit? before we spin. He wants sock bait. You're right. I guess I spin first. Whoa, you almost got the jackpot. It just barely missed the jackpot. We had three ones in a row. How about that? <clears throat> okay. 
He said soft bait. So let's reach down in here. Bam. Lake Fork Baby Ring Fry. Watermelon Red. Wonder if you got how many of you guys even know what a ring fry is. Ring fry is a little stick bait. I'll show it to you up close. And it's got these, they also call them a French fry. They've got grooves on them and it gives you a unique action in the water. You can wacky rig it. You can fish it any way, any way you fish a worm, but wacky rigging works really well. And the lake fork lures are pretty nice. They have a strong garlic scent. A little stinky. But uh, all right. You got it right. Texas rig for sure. Henry says, I won too much. We'll give those away to someone new. All right, Henry, you pick someone to give it away to, and I will change that. You have won quite a bit, man. You're just fast on the trigger or something. Pick someone in the comments, uh, Henry, and I'll give it to him. Let's do John Gill. Woohoo! All right, John Gill, you're a double winner tonight. Ring fry. Okay. Nice. Thanks, Henry. That was uh, very nice. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do one more dog question, and then we will, uh, then I'll show you some things that I bought for my tournament. Uh, so. Here's the next dog question. <clears throat> My dog is named Andy, but I have a nickname for him that he likes even better. What is his nickname? You got to get the exact nickname right. <laughs> uh, Tanya got it right. I do say goofy a lot. You are right. I say goofy a lot. All right. So... Sorry, guys, but it's Goofball. Goofball is his official nickname, and he likes it. But I do say Goofy a lot, too. But I was looking for Goofball. So, Tanya, congratulations. You are the winner. <clears throat> Goofball the Wonder Dog. Right. Okay, so let's uh, let's spin here. For Tanya. Oh, our first double. Number two. So you got two choices. You can get two out of one bucket, or you can pick from hard bait, soft bait. You can put one out of each or the miscellaneous bucket. Pick your poison, Tanya. What's the X? X, you strike out and get nothing. It can be cruel around here, man. We had two X's last week. Two strikes. Get nothing for the X. Winner, winner of Goofball's Chicken Dinner. Tanya, can I please have soft bait and a hard bait? Yes, you can. All right, we'll do soft first. Bam! Chase baits, four inch dagger bait in purple pearl. I've not fished this lure. Anybody know anything? Fished it with it or tried it? The chase baits, chase baits, dagger bait. 
four incher. This came out of a, a monster bass box as well, I think. All right, that's the soft bait. Now the hard. Here we go. This is Locals Tackle the Commish. A realistic top water or shallow crankbait that has the profile and color color pattern of a young frog. This also came out of a mystery box or a lucky box. Most of these came out of some sort of a lucky or mystery box that I've bought here over the last year or so. So there you go, Tanya. You got the dagger and the locals. Nice. Congratulations. Hey, Mr. Bass, I got to wake up at 3 a.m. for work. I'd love to keep watching. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for hopping on. Appreciate it, man. If you land on a two, you get two lures. If you land on a one, you get one lure. If you land on an X, you get no lures. If you land on a Mr. Bass, it's a jackpot. You get three lures. If you land on KVD, you don't get a lure today, but you get put in a drawing for a bigger prize later. The reason I say later is I was going to do once a month, but this is like our third or fourth week, and we haven't had anybody land on it yet. So it's probably going to be every once a quarter or something. I don't know. We'll just have to sit. We'll have to play, play it by ear. Chewbacca caught my wife with it, man. That was a good lure. You're right. Mr. Bass sticker is jackpot. Thanks for hopping on Gregory. And thanks everybody for hitting the like button. I appreciate it. Robert, what did you miss, man? We've been having a good time. We've been talking fishing. We've been talking Mr. Bass's dog. We've been giving away prizes. Do you know which topwater baits I missed? Is the Smithwick toothpick? Jeez, man, that's old school. You are right. What kind of things are in the miscellaneous bucket? Okay. That's a good question. None of you guys picked the miscellaneous bucket, but it's got some good stuff in it. It has spinner baits. It has thunder crickets. It has frogs. It has line. It has buzz baits. Here's a frog. It has jigs. More thunder crickets. It has chatterbaits. So the miscellaneous bucket, and it also has hooks and weights and just miscellaneous stuff. It's also got a fanny pack in there and it's got some sunglasses, I think. So see you kick your bass. Thanks for hopping on, man. Yeah, the miscellaneous bucket's got some good stuff in it, but most people just pick the old, pick the old hard or soft baits. OJ OG Slims on pre-order. Yeah, man, I want to try some of those. Uh, my buddy just got one, but I haven't haven't gotten one yet. Yeah, you're right. My next question is going to be about <clears throat> some of my lures. That I got in uh, that I and some of my videos. Let me go grab the stuff that I bought. So you have to stare at the Mister at the terminal tackle bucket for one second. Okay, so let me show you a few things that I bought, and I'll talk to you about why I bought them. 
So, so you can see what this is. This is the Ned Rig kit, and this is going to be – I'm going to start doing uh, other prizes that are worth, say, more than just a single bait. And this is going to be part of that. I bought a few of these Ned Rig kits, which are really – they're made by Z-Man. They've really got everything you need. They got the TRDs, the Ticklers, the Craws, and then it's got some Ned Heads in there. So I got a few of those. I also have been buying a lot of different tackle storage options to tr try out and do videos on. I'll show you a couple I'm going to do videos on here fairly soon. One is a... Uh, One is Academy Sports has put out this premium terminal tackle case. Don't know if any of you guys have this or have tried it. But uh, this is kind of like a knockoff of the uh, Bass Mafia terminal tackle box. It looks like it. It feels like it. It's real sturdy. It's not as sturdy uh, uh, as, as the Bass Mafia one. And it has, these are actually bigger compartments than the Bass Mafia one, but it has these foam inserts for your weights and it's got these foam things for hooks. So I'm going to do a video on this and I'm eventually going to give this away. This will be part of one of the giveaways. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these or tried these before. Uh, these are interesting little lure cases and, uh, they've been around for years and years. Uh, they were made by, uh, Shimano. I think somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that. And they, uh, yeah, you compare the Academy one to the, uh, to the Bass Mafia, the money's just crazy. But the, these old ones that were made by Shimano, uh, you can't buy them anymore, and they're super expensive if you buy them on the secondary market. They're like 60 bucks each. Well, Daiwa makes these now, and they come in three different sizes, and uh, they're only 12, 13 bucks. So these are, these are really nice. They're unique because they give you a great way to store baits with treadable hooks. Uh, like you can put a bunch of poppers in here or a bunch of small uh, plugs and uh, they're all individual in an individual slot. I think they're pretty cool. And uh, so I think, think that's a good deal. Yeah. H2O express uh, terminal box. You're right. Yeti whisper that H2O express is uh, Academy sports brand. Okay, one of the guys was asking me in one of the live streams about uh, my big baits, how I was going to transport these things and carry them, like the iSlide 262 Mega Bass. And I've been looking for options and trying things, and I found this here. This is called the Plano, the Plano uh, Tackle Wrap. And it's not bad. It's 20 bucks Velcro, but you open it up like this and it's got these long pockets in here. One, two, that swim baits I think would work really good in. So I'm going to try this because there's a lot of companies that make wraps for swim baits, but they're crazy expensive, $60, $70. The fact that this is only 20 bucks to me seems like a great deal compared to the other companies that are doing this. Plano makes this. So that looks pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Possibly a cheaper solution for protecting your your big old expensive lures like this. These things cost a fortune. Yeah, this swim bait is huge, isn't it? 262 millimeters, which is about, what, that, 9, 10 inches long? 
It's long. It is long, long. Okay, let me show you a few other things I bought. And this is just some stuff I'm buying to get ready, ready for a tournament. My buddy Joe that uh, has been on my last two podcasts, my only two podcasts so far, talking about tournament fishing. He and I are going to be fishing a tournament together. And Sam Rayburn, and these are some lures that I'm buying. Just don't know if I'll use them down there yet or not, but I fish trick worms almost everywhere I go. Shaky head, Texas rig. And so the zoom trick worms I love. And this color red bug seems to work in a lot of places. So I got a couple of those. I got me some jackhammers. And this is the fire craw color. I'll take it out of the package. Where it's winter time here where I live, but in Texas it's almost springtime, really. I mean, it's just around the corner. And you know, once spring rolls around, they're going after those red crawdads. So I'm gonna be throwing some red rattle traps and I'm gonna be throwing some red chatterbaits, thunder crickets. Big cranks in the brush. Did we get snow this weekend? Yes, we did get snow. Got about two inches, not not a lot. So I bought about, you know, a handful of these. And then I bought some other of my favorite lures uh, just because. I love the rock crawler, the Spro rock crawler, especially in the Ozarks. It works great. This is a color I do not have, I don't own, so I wanted to try it. It's got this kind of orangish reddish back, chartreuse side, orange belly. This color is called Melon Craw. Rock crawlers are just awesome. I absolutely love them. Just pulled a Thunder Cricket out of Lake. Out of a lake. That's great. If you can find a find one. All right. I don't know if you guys fish many jackal baits, but there's a few jackal lures I love. One is the flick shake worm. And they've got the flick shake. If you don't know about this technique, it's kind of a weighted wacky rig. But these worms are made so that as you can see, this end curves down. And this end actually curves up just a little bit. And it gives it a unique action when you fish it wacky style. And it's an excellent lure. And this is a really cool color. This is called uh, camouflage. And I really like the color. And I love the flick shake. So I got several flick shake worms. And then they've got a new worm out. I call it new because I ha don't have any of them. It's called the Neko Flick, the Neko Rig or the Neko Rig. And this just has a fatter head on one end for a nail weight for the Neko Rig. This is kind of a nice color. It's a natural shaddy color. It's called Prism Shad. Yeah, you can see $5.99 at my local tackle store. Somebody's saying Bass Pro has them cheaper. <laughs> and then here's another color. Uh, uh, already, I, I guess I've, I've already shown it. Let's see. What, what color? Yeah, these are both Prism Shad, even though this one looks different. Oh, yeah, they are different. Prism Gill and Prism Shad. This is Prism Gill. Anyway, we won't waste a bunch of time on this. And then I've done this on some videos before. I'll use this as a question, not today, but in one of my future videos. I really like the yammy fish for Ned Rigs. The yammy fish. They got some great colors and these really work great on a Ned Rig. 
So that color is a uh, green pumpkin fish, and this is natural bait fish. And this is one of my all time favorite colors, chartreuse green pumpkin. The yammy fish chartreuse green pumpkin is a great lure. So remember that. That'll be a question on someday, I'm sure. Okay, that's it. Uh, I also bought a bunch of rattle traps. I'll just show you a couple <laughs> that I bought recently. And I say rattle traps. It's actually a six cents. Quake Thud 70. This is a gold reactor color. Got an orange belly, gold sides, black, black, blue back, blue back. And this is one of my favorite colors, Lava Truce. I throw that color a lot. <laughs> Here's a nice uh, Booyah, the Booyah One Knocker. And this is a uh, Rayburn Red. And I also have a uh, Strike King Red Eye Shad in Rayburn Red. So with a name like Rayburn Red, it's got to work at uh, Ray, uh, like Rayburn, right? It's got to. Okay. Enjoyed watching and learning about the baits, Rod's Reels. Good. I am very glad. Suzanne, that's my sister. Awesome. Okay. Let's do a few more giveaways here before we wrap things up. Next question. <laughs> All right, I did a premiere video today, and in that video, I fished. Uh, I'm going to give two prizes, two prizes off this question, two winners. I fished two baits in this video. Just name one of the two baits. All right, Henry doesn't want to win, so we'll skip him. Right, Henry? Daniel Hedrick got one, the dark sleeper. A Joe fishing. Yep, you got it. All right, so I was looking for the Ned Rig and the Dark Sleeper. Although uh, Big TRD would work as well. But my first two winners were Daniel Hedrick and A Joe fishing. Daniel Hedrick, congratulations, man. And A. Joe Fishing. So, Daniel, Hedrick, let's spin for you first. You can see the wheel. Might pull a little closer. Yeah, the video I did today, I caught most of my fish on a Ned Rig, and then I caught a couple at the end on a Dark Sleeper. All right, Daniel Hedrick, you got a one. So which bucket? Which bucket are you looking for? Yeah, we got some fat guys fast on the trigger for sure. Daniel wants the miscellaneous bucket. Okay. Bam, chatterbait. One of the best fast lures of all time, the chatterbait, for sure. Congratulations. This is the bluegill color, three eighths ounce. <clears throat> nice. Okay, A. Joe Fishing, let's spin for you. We haven't had an X tonight yet. 
Will you be the first X? We haven't had a jackpot either. One. All right. At least you didn't get an X. Pick your poison. Which which uh, which one you want me to choose from? You're right. Bluegill will be perfect for ponds. AJ wants a miscellaneous bucket too. <clears throat> All right. Bam. Eat me, the Guggen Filthy Frog. That's a nice bait. And it's the bullfrog color. Congratulations, man. Filthy frog. <laughs> nice. All right. Sure thing, Tanya. I really love doing it. I'm glad uh, you like it. All right, let's do one more prize. We'll wrap up with one final prize. So you still have a chance to be the winner. Um, all right, this one might be hard unless you've watched my videos, but this will make it a little fairer possibly for somebody. So here's the interesting thing about this video. I'm going to ask you about something that's in one of my videos. And you are going to uh, spin the wheel and win a prize. But you're also going to win the thing I'm asking about, too. So in my videos, I have a video where I talk about uh, – braid cutting and line cutting scissors and and apparatuses and i talk about all the ones that are in there which one is my favorite which one do i say is the best for cutting braided fishing line and other fishing line that's the question rob c got it the Gerber Big uh, Sea Big Hill is one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite. The Cuda, the Cuda is my favorite. So congratulations, you win this, and I'm gonna let you spin as well. So that was Rob C was the winner there. Congratulations, man. Let's spin for you. X! <laughs> Sorry, man, but you did win the CUDA. And since you got an X, we'll do one more for somebody. And then we'll be done. Okay, man, I wonder how hard that one would be. That one seems like it would be really hard for you guys. Uh, all right, I'm going to do a really hard one. Uh, this is a hard one. Uh, you have to really watch my videos and pay attention, and uh, you still may not get this, so sorry if this seems unfair. Uh, I talked about, I think I asked a question about this last week. I did about the video where uh, our boat sank, and I asked the name of the lake, which was Lake St. Clair. But in that uh, video, I talk about when the boat sank, we jumped off the boat onto this big honking buoy marker out in the channel and waited on the buoy marker until the Coast Guard showed up. So uh, you can't win twice in the same night, by the way, just FYI. What is the number of the buoy marker? What is the number of the buoy marker that we had to sit on until we got rescued? John Smith, you're the winner because John Gill gave you the answer, but John Gill's already won tonight twice. So 
Thanks, John. No problem. You can't win twice on the same night, but you can win uh, every week. So John Smith, congratulations, buddy. You're right. 26 is the buoy marker that uh, we hopped on. So let's. that wasn't as hard as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be a lot harder for you guys. Some of you guys are really paying attention. That's impressive. All right. You know, as these, uh, I'm going to have to crank out a lot more videos because as week, but weeks go by, uh, <laughs> we're going to run out of videos. I might have to start asking different questions. All right, John Smith. Let me write that down. Here we go, buddy. Jackpot! Woo! The Mr. Bass jackpot. You got three prizes, man. What do you know? That's crazy. Congratulations. All right. So you can pick all out of the same bucket or mix it up. What do you want to do? Somebody finally hit the jackpot. I don't think we hit the jackpot at all last week. And then the week before we hit it like twice. <clears throat> Good deal, man. All right. He wants one from each. All right. So miscellaneous first. Bam. Black and blue Thunder Cricket. Wow, that's a good prize. Hard bait. The Crave. Crave baits. Lipless crankbait. It's a good looking color. And... Soft Plastics. Bam. The Gambler. 5 inch. 5.25 inch ace. Exactly. Pretty nice. Jackpot. Good job. Congratulations, man. If he scrolls back, I got the Alabama tied first, but it's no biggie. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hit me up later. All right. If you were a winner, the way you claim your prize is send me a DM on my Instagram account at Mr. Bass TV. At Mr. Bass TV. I've also got a TikTok at Mr. Bass TV now. And uh, just post little clips on there. But uh, send me a DM with your address. And you can also list what you want in case for some reason I messed that up. And uh, I will get you your prize. I will send it to you in the mail along with a Mr. Bass sticker. Thanks for joining us tonight. It was a lot of fun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope maybe you learned something from it or had a good time, even if you did not win. And again, big shout out to C Big Hill for donating some lures to the cause to help us keep giving out prizes. That was awesome. Do I have an email? Yes, the email is Mr. Bass TV at protonmail.com. That is Mr. Bass TV at protonmail.com. Yeah, I'd love to fish with you sometime, Henry. Sure thing, man. Have a good night, everybody. Roll Tide. Let's hope the Chiefs pull it off tomorrow, except for you Cleveland fans. Have a good night. I'm going to hang for a second just as people kind of scroll off. See you, Alex. See you, John.
Brandon, Noel, Henry, Daniel, Tanya, see ya, dad bod. <laughs> Thanks, man. I can't believe I got to give a Browns fan a prize. Jeez. See you, Timothy. Terry. Hey, Joe, fishing KC by 10, please. Nice. I like the way you're thinking. Good night. Adios. I am leaving now in three, two, one. Bye.